Not a lot of room to work up there. In a bit. If she has a tissue where it hurts yet. Nope. Who <laughs> see the house? Yeah. She gave up on life. It's too, too big a day for her yesterday. She doesn't do late nights. Good morning. Uh, so the morning didn't start out exactly the way we had hoped. Our beans yesterday were quite wet and we put them in the overhead, this guy, and they bunged up real bad, real, real bad. So we've been sort of banging the bin. We got it flowing for the cross auger, this one, that one that goes into the dryer. And just like last year, it must have like let go and swamp the auger and now it blew the belts and we have to clear out the auger. How many times did this happen last year? How many times did we do this last year? At least three. We're not too happy about it. This is, this is a wet corn problem, not a wet bean problem. Belts are up there. Bin six, and then start one. Yeah. Should I keep my finger close in case I have to? Look okay? What's that noise? Nothing. I think disaster is averted for now. We have a door that controls the flow of the big overhead bin into that cross auger. And we wonder with the vibration sometimes of the dryer if it actually just wiggles loose. So for most of the crops, we've been actually using a little tarp strap to uh, hold the door at a certain position. We just forgot to put it on. So, I mean, it shouldn't do that. Uh, so Mark's gonna talk to the guys at horse maybe just to see if this is a common thing. But we blew through like, nine or more belts, nine, 12 belts last year. So we're making it work for now, but it's not ideal. We are back in the barn finally. I've been trying to get here all day. These guys have run out of milk finally. They should have run out like two days ago. So they just haven't been on it real hard, which is great. But uh, I sometimes let the machine run just with water, but because these guys have been playing with the nipples so much, they're gonna probably wreck them. So I'm gonna be a little more preventative and take these out today. They were vaccinated yesterday, so that should be all fine. That's why they have red paint on them, if you're wondering. I might leave the machine here for a bit until I need to move it. I don't think it's really in the way that much. And then I did get a hold of Charlie. Tomorrow he is coming to shear uh, the group that's due in December. That means they're about seven weeks away from lambing. I like to get shearing done before lambing, as you guys all know. And, and then a couple weeks after now, I can get them hoof trimmed and vaccinated. Now they were just hoof trimmed like a couple weeks ago, so they won't be that bad, which is also awesome. I will have to vaccinate them anyway, so we'll just take a look. The other thing they're gonna have done is lice treatment, but because Charlie didn't come last week, I had done my rams last week, so now that's not gonna line up with these girls. So we're gonna have to figure it out. In saying all that, I want to rearrange my pens once again. I, I went and moved Willow's 
pen over there just so I can do my evaluations and stuff. And now I'm gonna have to actually move, we're gonna have to swap their pens back again for a day. I wanna keep that whole side sort of available for Charlie to take those use right out. Do you like that water? It's yummy. Yum, yum, yum. I'm gonna listen to my book, is that okay? I'm almost done it, and it's getting really good. Well, good morning, it is Friday. Uh, Charlie's on his way. I'm stressed because I done screwed up yesterday. I moved those U's around. I swapped Willow's pen for a couple of others and I forgot to sh shut a main. I forgot to shut a main gate that separated the U's that I wanna shear, the pregnant U's, and then part of Willow's curl. So uh, yeah, I'm in a bit of a scramble. I have to go through my Gallagher data to see if I can pull out the ones that are pregnant and somehow be able to scan each U and easily separate them. I don't know if I can do it. I waited for Charlie for like a week and then the day I like totally tried to get sort of ahead of the game and it's kicking me in the pants this morning. Are you doing anything this weekend? Every time, uh, especially Sarah, my older daughter, she's like, oh, no, I don't tell them where I am, right? Yeah. I just said, yeah. they like, to, you're like, oh, by the way, this is where I was. Yeah. Like, oh, man, you're not that. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, yeah, it's not as impressive as you. <laughs> <laughs> We have a telehandler too, right? We do. It's at the doctor's right now. Oh, okay. So if he's coming tomorrow, then no. Right, yeah, no. Okay. Cool. Sounds All right. good. Thanks, Thanks Clint. Clint. Yeah. Okay, so we will put just the 30 or whatever. So Willow, the ones that say not bread will go this way. 
Gators clothes? <laughs> I'm joking. Oh yeah, the Gators clothes. Should we open it actually? Oh yeah, that So they can go in yeah. there? Bread? Bread? Not good. Bread goes straight through. Okay. Good. At least this is working. Wrong way there, dude. Charlie got a new, a really nice new little setup here. These are aluminum, they're really light, but we just have to make some adjustments uh, because my barn's just a little bit different and my sheep need to go one way. If they are able to turn around, they're not gonna go the right way. So we were able to make it work, I think. We're good, So for you. Cinnamon, hi. You gonna get a haircut? It's been a bit. Yes, it has. <laughs> Cinnamon. Cinnamon. <laughs> I love it when they're like two rectums on the hub. They like to pop straight up. Yeah, they're like this. Oh my god, I was on. I don't know if I'm. Instagram, but they were showing YouTube videos that you might have forgotten about, and I swear I've seen it before, but I can't remember for sure. Uh, it's two guys sitting at a table, and the one guy keeps imitating like an animal. So like starts out with a cow, and he goes eating dinner like a cow. There's a kangaroo. There's an alligator. Have you seen that one? It's old, but I'm like, oh my god, this is like. That's why YouTube was funny. She's so pretty. She missed her last hearing because she wasn't pregnant. Can you tell? Mm, not really. Okay. I didn't know if it was if there was more. What am I supposed to say? Yes, I'm double clicking for this one? <laughs> double clicking. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't want you double clicking any of them. <laughs> your, double, your double clicking and the double clicking we know of are different double clicking. Oh. <laughs> your cost me money. I didn't double click the ram, so I don't think I need to <laughs> bother with these. 
Okay, Charlie just left. I got a little cleaning up to do. That is the joys of having them sort of hang out in here for the afternoon. But my babies look so good. I can't get over how, how white they are when they're sheared. Like these guys are clean, but this is, what's, this is what lays underneath. Hi, you sweetie. Sister. This isn't their pen but it is today. I'll maybe over the weekend, maybe I'll switch them back with Willow's group and try to remember to shut the gate behind me so we don't have another issue like this morning. All right, I've got some cleaning up too and then I gotta feed these guys. They're, they're very hungry, they're very angry, very hangry. And I've got three more bags of wool, which means I have to get this stuff over um, to Bly to get it washed. I've got quite a, f quite a few bags still sitting in our shipping container that need to go. I know what I wanted to talk to you guys about. If you remember last week, I did my preliminary life treatment on the Rams and I'm glad I did because this group, I just hoof trim this group. This is the group before Willow's group. So I think I did these guys about a month ago. There was no wool loss that I remember, like nothing dramatic. There's so much wool loss in the last month from this group. There's a lot of scratches. So they've been scratching up against like the metal bars. There's bite marks, like the wool's been pulled right out. I do think sometimes when they're itching, they either scratch or they take their itching out on another you or they just stand and let another you do it because it feels good. This is very seasonal. We seem to get it every single year around this time. And then um, it's sort of, we get it sort of under control with this life treatment, but um, yeah, it's just, it's just something we have to deal with. Maybe just being indoors, maybe the birds carry it. I'm not really sure. I think it's very sheep specific, so I don't think like we can't get it. So I'm assuming that the birds don't carry it, but I don't know. It'd be worth asking Rex maybe. Anyway, I gotta feed these ladies. Bye. Morning guys, it's another soggy, soggy Saturday and getting pretty chilly. I think I need another layer, to be honest. I am on chore duty uh, and not for a great reason. Carissa's boyfriend's grandpa passed away this week, so I think it was pretty sudden and uh, I just, I could tell how bad she felt yesterday. Anyway, I just told her take the time you need because likely there's visitation and funeral and all the things and what a gross sort of weekend for it. I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing this weekend. We might just play her cool. Um, I have a function this week at the end of the week and to be honest I haven't <laughs> gone anywhere that I need to get sort of dressed up for. So I'm gonna look through my closet. I don't even know if anything fits because COVID. <laughs> I don't know maybe this weekend if Jess gets home she went to Guelph last night I think she went to a country bar for the first time. It's literally an agriculture school and this is the first time she's been to a country bar the whole time she's been at Guelph. So we'll see how she's feeling today and if she comes home. If she comes home, 
maybe we'll head to the mall and have a look around but yeah and I'm going with someone very special so I'll probably vlog a little bit of that later on this week you guys will be very excited to see who it is that I'm going with not Mark <laughs> I don't know I cleaned those floors last night so I'm wondering if I should just do it tomorrow but I should rearrange the pens that I had rearranged for Charlie yes little dog okay well let's do chores I had a uh, little discovery just while I was feeding here this morning and it's actually Ruby Sue. I texted Rex a picture of her and asked him breed or retire because I'm not crazy excited with the way her abdomen looks. It sort of looks like Margie a little bit and that you, those couple of yous that uh, went full term and they had that big blowout. She just sort of looks like it's just beginning to get really weak on her one side of her abdomen. Don't run away from me, Ruby Sue. You're not gonna run away. Hi. Hi, honey. You're the see your abdomen? Oh, not doing good. This left side. Rex did get back to me right away and he said retire so we just may have another retiree over the next few weeks once it dries out a little bit and I can get over there with the trailer. Oh, the diet is doing wonders. A bunny and a squirrel all in the same week. You're outdoing yourself. Good morning you guys. It is Sunday. It's breezy today. A little chilly. It rained all day yesterday so instead of like trekking out and doing some odds and sods in town I decided to hunker down here get some housework done. Mark's older brother and our nephew came down to visit us so we had supper uh, at Mark's dad's place last night and then we had friends that came over last night and hung out back at the cabin with us so it was really really nice. All right doggies I gotta get inside it's cold. Where's the little one?
<laughs> Cheers. We've been shopping a little bit today. I needed an outfit for this week and I found one, I think. And then we went to Indigo to get some books. Of course. We didn't really, you got a book that you already read that you love. And I bought, I bought an Alanis Morissette album. Love. Uh, we want to come on here real quick. We decided our ne our next book club meeting, which is October. Uh, we're going to try to do it for a week today. So today is Sunday. So next Sunday is like October 29th. Let me maybe double check that right I now. think it is. We're aiming for next Sunday night, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, because that works the best for us. We can jump out of the tractor if we're in it. If you missed it, you have a week to read it. What's it called again? The X Hex. The X Hex. <laughs> I'll put a little thing. The X Hex. Yeah, I still it, have to read it. I'll put it. it right here in the middle of us. You haven't no, read it yet. I haven't read it. Yet. I have read it. I do my homework. I'm always like the straggler. It was. Uh, it was a pretty easy read, and uh, yeah, it's. It gets us right ready for spooky season. Oh, and one other thing, Jess and I are dressing up, so we're having a little Halloween party. You are more than welcome to join us in your dressing up, and then if you want, if you're on Instagram, take a picture and like tag share us in your. Tag yes. us in your picture and share it, and then we'll we will share it as well, because I think it'll be fun. It will be fun. Yeah, it's like a big costume party. Yeah, and then I think we might do something fun for Christmas too. Mm -hmm. All right, we shall see. We're gonna go home. Stay tuned. We're gonna go see Mark and the dogs. Oh yeah, the dogs. All right.